What's up guys, Clutch Fight 37 here. I want to show you two of the things I've stumbled upon the last couple of days that have just blown my mind I thought were really cool. So I figured I'd show you. So I went to my mom's house and went to the attic because there is a company here in Colorado that is donating a bunch of used lacrosse gear to youth players and players just everywhere that do not have the funds to pay for lacrosse stuff. So I figured I would uh, donate a bunch of my used gear to them, see what they could get with it, and then uh, I guess just kind of help out. So one thing that I stumbled upon was a pair of custom Warrior Superfly gloves from Warrior. I just repeated myself real bad there. But the Superfly gloves, for those of you who don't know, came out, I believe, my 8th grade year, which is f 6 years ago. These are in great condition. Uh, they were priced at 140 I believe, at the time, which was the high-end glove at the time. And nowadays, you see gloves going up for 190 to 220 which is a little ridiculous in my opinion, but oh well. As you can see, the palms are in fantastic condition. They are a little dirty, a little used. You can see this one has part of the string coming off. I think I use these for two or three seasons, but there's no holes in them. No really big signs of wear and tear. So uh, I post these on Instagram, and a couple of people were interested. If you really want to buy these, shoot me an email. I mean, I don't know how much these are worth. I don't know if people really look for these gloves. I know I would love to have a pair. And I might actually start using this. We'll see since my school colors are red, silver, and blue again. So... If you're interested, shoot me an email. If not, I'll definitely use these or keep them up as a wall hanger. So that's the first pair of gloves I found. That was really cool. And then the other day, I went into a Played Against Sports near me just to kind of see what they have. I do it about every two weeks because every now and then you can find some cool gems. I found OG Cobras. OG, I found one OG Blade one time. The only problem was it was cracked and it was selling for like 10 bucks. I probably should have bought it, but at the same time, you can't really do much with a cracked OG Blade besides hang it up on a wall. So the more I think about it, the more I should have got that. But... I stumbled upon yet another pair of Warrior Superflies, but these are even cooler and extremely hard to come by. They're a pair of custom Los Angeles Riptide gloves. Los Angeles Riptide was a MLL team back a couple years ago, but they were disbanded, cut off. I don't know what really happened. So you can see it says Riptide right here. They are an orange, white, and teal colorway, which is absolutely cool looking. I think it's probably one of the coolest cross color combinations any professional team has ever done. Uh, but that's just me. And not only are they custom Los Angeles Riptide gloves, they're also Michael Watson's game use pair. It says Watson right there and Watson right here. And whoever had these, I believe, well, my guess is they probably got it from him after a game. And he autographed them in an orange Sharpie right here on the cuff. So Michael Watson game used, Los Angeles Riptide, autographed Warrior Superfly gloves. These are absolutely phenomenal. It's super hard to come by anything Los Angeles Riptide theme. So I'll probably end up keeping these, but if someone really wants them, shoot me an email at clutchfan37 at gmail.com. I may sell them, haven't really decided yet, um, but these are in pretty much branded condition. You can see the palms, the uh, mesh part is bright neon green still, just like when they were brand new. There's a little bit of mud here and there, but basically you just wash that off and it comes off super easily. So I just thought I'd show you guys uh, two of the coolest things I've ever found in my attic and how to play it against sports. Super excited about these, uh, definitely wall hangers if no one wants to buy them. Um, in other news, I did order a bunch of Mesa mesh again, or a bunch of soft mesh to make into Mesa mesh. Uh, in the last month or two, I think I order mesh about once a week, and I order a good amount, and then it sells out real quick. So I'm really happy to see people purchasing my mesh. I see a couple of people coming back for more orders. Um, retail stores are starting to get interested. I've been emailing professional players and well-known players around the leagues to see if they're interested. And so far, I've gotten a lot of good responses. A couple of people said uh, they can't use it because of sponsorship deals and things like that, which is all right. So hopefully you'll see in the NLL and the MLL next year some Mesa Mesh in some team's hands. And yeah, so really excited about this stuff. I hope you guys enjoy. I mean, these gloves are just awesome to look at. Michael Watson, I mean, back when he was playing, I really wasn't too fond of him. I was just a kid who wanted everyone's autograph and watched lacrosse and just loved it. But nowadays, looking back at it, Michael Watson was one hell of a player, and finding these was just quite the steal. And then also... Red, silver, and blue superflies. You hardly find any pair of custom superflies out there anymore. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, look forward to making a couple more videos this week on reviews, as well as um, one thing to help you shoot faster if you don't want to do a bunch of weightlifting. So that's about it. I'll stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoy yet again. Man, these are so cool. Hope you enjoy.